Hi, I'm Brandy, and this is Hound Dog Hollow. It's been a little bit, and I'm sorry for that, but I <laughs> just started a new term of grad school, so I was getting that under control. It's been really busy in work and just life. But I'm so happy to be here with you guys today with my um, Tamed Wild box. Um, and it comes in this mailer. So this is what's inside the mailer. Let's check it out. I saw some previews, but I try never to watch other people's videos or look at the previews until I get my own and then I go back and watch everybody else's to see how they compare. Spring Equinox, lovely. I've already had Ostara, but let's see. Oh. So cute! Oh, and I love that. That's beautiful. Oh, it's so cute. I'm gonna have to put it so high so my kid will not <laughs> mess it up. It smells good. Um, so this is a besom. So pretty. I love it. So I think this is an opalite crescent and some flowers and stuff. Really cute. It's little, so that's really nice for your altar or whatnot. It's a big old stone. It reminds me of plaster or marble, but we'll see what it is. Rose petals. Ooh. I got this purple bag with a rose mm -hmm. on it. And that's a stand. It looks like, oh, <laughs> I love little crystal eggs. I got two opalite crystal eggs. This is a different kind, which is adorable, and he's got a little stand. I love it. Osara Tisane Herbal Tea. Peppermint leaves and cowl. Oops, sorry. And then I know this is a Rose of Jericho because I saw... I get a lot of subscription boxes, so this is actually my third Rose of Jericho from a subscription box. And then I thought it was so cool after I got it the first time in October with Sugar Muses that I ordered six of them to give as Christmas gifts. Um, so I love these. These are really good. I still have the um, one from October on my windowsill. This is very lovely. Rose of Jericho or Resurrection Flower. So let's look at the... So a besom. Um, let's see. It doesn't really describe it except for like how to use it, which is to, um, you know, sweep out, uh, removing stagnant energy, and uh, you know, sweep before, during, or after a ritual is one of the many methods to physically and energetically shift the magical potency within the room. Rose of Jericho. Rosebuds. So wait, that's here. Rose petals, but rose petals. Or rosebuds. Tokens of truth, love, and good fortune. A crystal egg. It's revered as the token of fertility, rebirth, divination throughout history. Um, symbolizes untapped potential. Um, Ostara uh, to saying tea. And howlite. Oh, howlite. Light gray or white colored stone with dark brown or black markings that resemble veins. It increases mindfulness through self-realization because of Howlite's ability to increase awareness. It's a popular choice for focus-driven activities like meditating, studying, or reading. And then there's, um, you know, some ideas for ritual, which I've talked about it before. I don't usually follow the rituals. And again, here's the really pretty insert. So this is a really nice box. I especially love these items. I love them all, though. I love these little crystal crescents. They're one of my favorites. This is uh, the Tamed Wild box. It is uh, $29 a month. It's from Tamed Wild Apothecary, who has um, consolidated their what used to be a wild medicine box with their House of Rituals box into one monthly box option, which you see here. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I will um, be filming again shortly, and, you know, Hope you have a wonderful day. This is a, um, 
Oh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. This is a nice box if you are really into um, like uh, your crystals and your herbs. I always get a lot of crystals and herbs and one or two ritual tools. But it's a good option uh, for that. Definitely a nice gift option uh, for your witchy friends or your collective friends. So check it out. I will leave the description, the information in the description bar below. Um, as always, please like comment and if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you so much for watching good night